so starting up in this chapter i'm going to talk about the fun flow statement theory part so as per the syllabus i'm going to cover up the meaning of fun the meaning and definition of fun flow statement the uses of fun flow statement the limitations of fun flow statement and finally i'm going to end the theory part by highlighting the difference between the fun flow statement and the cash flow statement so let's start the meaning of fun fund basically have different meanings from different perspectives okay so it can either mean cash which means physical cash or moment of cash from one bank account to another bank account second it can also mean the net working capital so what do you mean by net working capital Ca working capital is nothing but your current assets minus current liabilities so net working capital basically shows the excess of your current assets over the current liabilities for example you have your current assets to be 5 lakhs okay and you have your current liabilities to be 2 lakhs so what will be your working capital 5 lakhs minus 2 lakhs which is current assets minus current liabilities your resultant figure will be 3 lakhs or it can also mean the financial resources which are owned by the organization during a particular point of time so fund can mean any of three perceptions so these are fund so what do you mean by the non fund activities so for example if you see without the moment of cash or the outflow of cash the transaction there are certain transaction which occur those transaction can be termed as non fund transaction example the advisory services provided by the banks so which does not involve the outflow of cash so such cases can be called as non fund transaction which does not have an impact in your cash transactions or your working capital or your financial resources so let's move on to fund flow statement fund means we came to know the working capital flow means what the changes so the movement is nothing but flow statement means it is prepared in a particular format so what do you mean by a fund flow statement it is a statement which shows the changes or movements of fund so ultimately helping us to report the financial operations of the business undertaking with the help of fund flow statement the definition according to robert antony the fund flow analysis describe the sources from which additional funds were derived and the users to which these funds were put so before i would summarize the definition i would like to stress on the point sources of funds so what do you mean by sources of funds raising of funds in an organization so how does an organization raise funds it will raise fund with the help of borrowing funds from financial institutions or by issue of shares either it can be your equity shares or your preference shares so these can be known as the sources of funds the application of funds application of funds is nothing but how optimally you are utilizing the raised funds example could be for example if you are raising fund you will use it for some of the other purposes okay for example buying of your fixed assets so purchase of long term assets or when you are paying back your preference shareholders which can also be known as redemption of preference shares or redemption of debentures paying back your debenture holders or paying back your loans so these are nothing but the applications of funds so it basically analyzes and describe the sources of funds and the applications of funds so this definition was given by robert antony so our next subheading is uses of funds flow statement uses of fund flow statement basically tells about 
the purpose of preparation of your one flow statement how helpful it is to the organization when they prepare a one flow statement under that point 1 you have guides proper use of available resources so what do you mean by guides proper use of available resources for example as an organization we know how many how much of resources or resources here it means your financial resources how much of resources we have with the help of the preparation of the sources of resources so when we get to know what is your sources of resources obviously we will stick on to using the resources your financial resources in the most prominent optimum level without leading it to a loss or carefree use of cash flow or outflow of cash in an organization so basically a management's decision on how to use the funds is told or is given by the preparation of a fund flow statement point 2 acts as a base for financial planning and budgeting so when we get to know what is the funds that we have and how are we utilizing the funds it helps us in anticipating for the future years for example a large amount of funds is borrowed from a financial institution for the last year okay that can be taken as an example so by this we get to know that we are supposed to pay every year the amount of interest to that particular financial institution so we set back a certain amount for it every year so which ultimately helps us in planning out how the financial resources to be utilized and it also helps us in making our budgets for the next coming up years point 3 it gives early warning of coming financial dangers early warning of coming financial dangers so when you get to know the inflow of funds is higher than the outflow of funds it is a positive figure showing up that the company is having a good financial position if the inflow of funds is lesser than your outflow of funds basically it shows that the company is going to face difficulties in the utilization of funds because they do not have enough funds so it acts as an early warning for the coming financial dangers point 4 reveals a net result of business operation during the year in terms of cash so if you see when you are preparing your income statement or a profit and loss account okay basically what does it show it shows your profit for the year so does it show the net profit of the year we have a doubt on it why do we have a doubt on it because it includes the depreciation and the write off amounts so what if the management decides the depreciation amounts and the write off amounts so that time the profits will vary according to the management decision which ultimately results in not showing the net results of the business operation of funds from the operation but when we are preparing the fund flow statement we show the funds from business operation because we do not include the write offs or the depreciation amounts point 5 facilitates in borrowing so facilitates in borrowing so as a company when we borrow fund from various financial institution to satisfy us we get to know what is the ability of a company to repay it in the future years okay so when you are preparing a fund flow statement it basically indicates the ability of the company to pay back its loan as per the repayment period so we are showing it as an application so by this we get to know how much the company is capable of taking loan from the financial institutions point 6 detailed information about the movement of funds which basically shows the flow of funds that is your inflow of funds and the outflow of funds point 7 facilitates management in taking corrective action so for example if there are any deviations which are found by the organization okay between two balance sheets okay when they are preparing the fund flow statement a management can take that as a measure 
to take up the corrective actions in the future coming years. So the deviations can be reduced ultimately by the preparation of your fund flow statement. Point 8 formation of dividend policy etc depending on the funds that we have in the organization a company can can formulate its dividend policy what is dividend dividend is nothing but the profits given up to your shareholders in the form of dividend that policy can also be formulated by the management depending on the funds that it has in their hands so how do we get to know this by the preparation of fund flow statement point 9 effective tool highlighting the sources and application of funds before the between the accounting period so a fund flow statement is basically prepared with the help of two accounting periods okay so basically we at the end of fund flow statement we basically show and or conclude the fund flow statement by the preparation of sources and application of funds it completely highlights how the company has raised its fund and how the company has utilized its funds so we, we can easily compare the optimum utilization of a company's funds moving on to the limitations of fund flow statement point one historical in nature historical in nature is nothing but depending on your past records or your past accounts or your past figures that you're getting it from your books of accounts we prepare our fund flow statements so if the financial statements records or books of records are not up to the level of accuracy then obviously a fund flow level statement accuracy level also will ultimately decrease point two not an original statement just a rearrangement of the financial statement the fund flow statement cannot act as the original statement because we are taking the items or the amounts or the figures from the balance sheets or the other statements so it's just the rearrangement of financial statement as per the format of fund flow statement point three it does not include the non-fund items which does not include fund it or the moment of cash so it does not include those items in your fund flow statement so what happens to those items it still acts as a question mark so hence it is also a limitation to your fund flow statement point four ignores future projections so we are not sure what are uh, what does it talk about the future point of view so it does not give a clear picture of the future projects of future projections that will be carried down by the organization point five not providing any additional information it does not provide any additional information whatever is there in your books of records for your past years we just showed that in your fund flow statement we are not showing any additional information in your fund flow statement very important point the last point not a substitute of income statement or balance sheet this will not act as a substitute of income statement or balance sheet but as an additional statement along with your income statement or balance sheet so the last part of the theory which is the difference between your fund flow statement and cash flow statement so you have your basis you have your fund flow statement and you have your cash flow statement point one so which includes so on which we talk about the concept so fund flow statement is basically wider in concept why it is wider in concept because funds include various things okay funds includes the networking capital the movement of cash and etc whereas the cash flow statement is narrow in concept meaning to tell it only includes the cash Point two, accounting, fund flow statement is an accrual basis and cash flow statement is on cash basis. Whatever cash transactions happen, only that is shown in your cash flow statement. Point three, schedule of changes in working capital. Yes, you are supposed to prepare a schedule of changes in working capital for your fund flow statement, but cash flow statement has a different format. So schedule of changes will not be prepared in your cash flow statement. Point four, usefulness. Why 
is fund flow statement useful for a company or an organization it helps us to plan intermediate and long term financing so any long term financing activity needs to be planned so by the help of fund flow statement we will get to know what is the fund that a company is maintaining so by that we can plan out our future long term plans but what does a cash flow statement helps us in short term analysis the moment of outflow of cash that can be analyzed and cash planning of business how to optimally utilize your cash resources in an organization point 5 classification the fund flow statement basically classifies the assets into current assets and non current assets which is very necessary to prepare your fund flow statement cash flow statement we do not consider that at all and that is not necessary for us for the point of from the point of view of preparation of your cash flow statement point 6 opening and closing balance of cash so do we show the opening and closing balance of cash in your fund flow statement no we do not show it but in a cash flow statement yes we need it and we show it point 7 legal requirements so this is a very very important points are we supposed to prepare a fund flow statement is it compulsory for an every organization to prepare a fund flow statement absolutely not but whereas cash flow statement yes it needs to be prepared as per the accounting standard 3 which completely deals on cash flow statement so moving on to your next slide which is preparation of fund flow statement another point one so these are the three statements which we prepare in order to complete our fund flow statement point one schedule of changes in working capital point two adjusted profit and loss account and preparation of various account depending on upon the adjustment and point three is your statement of sources and application of funds so your preparation of fund flow statement i will explain it in the excel sheet as i'm doing these sums thank you hope the video was helpful thanks for the patience please do go through the video whenever required thank you students